Welcome to the second part of our talk on the endoplasmic reticulum, this time focusing on the component called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And if we just write up here on the screen again that we have our eukaryotic cell and we can see we still have our zoomed in structure of what the endoplasmic reticulum is going to look like as a whole. So we've got our eukaryotic cell right here and we're going to have the nucleus within our cell and our endoplasmic reticulum extending from that nucleus. So in the last video we spoke about having this complex tubule system within our cells that extended from the outer membrane of the lipid bilayer that houses our nucleus and we also said that a large portion of that system is studded with ribosomes and has a role in protein synthesis. But we had this smooth component which we didn't really discuss at all. So let's find out now uh, what it does. And the first thing we're going to want to note is that it's continuous with our rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it's going to extend from our rough endoplasmic reticulum. And I'm just outlining it here. And I'll do a uh, better view as well so we can get a clearer picture of that extension. Alright, so I've just drawn that structure again here and we can see our nucleus and we're going to see our rough endoplasmic reticulum extending uh, straight off the lipid bilayer of our nucleus, the outer membrane, and that's going to be covered with ribosomes. And then further out from our rough endoplasmic reticulum, we'll see our smooth endoplasmic reticulum here. And depending on what textbook you're looking at, sometimes it will be classified as an extension of the nuclear membrane as well, but most of the time it's just going to be classified as an extension of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So your nucleus, then rough endoplasmic, and then smooth endoplasmic. And something you'll notice straight away is that it looks quite different to our rough endoplasmic reticulum. Instead of having these uh, sac-like structures of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it's going to be uh, more tubule in shape and it kind of looks a lot like uh, coral, so we'll write that down. It resembles coral. And you've also probably noticed that I didn't draw any ribosomes around our smooth endoplasmic reticulum and that's why we call it smooth. It's not studded with those ribosomes. But within its membrane we're still going to find many enzymes, and all of these are enzymes that I'll just put uh, within the membrane here, are going to have uh, different roles. And the smooth endoplasmic reticulum actually has uh, quite a few different roles, so we'll talk about them now. But we want to point out first that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have a role in protein synthesis. That's the rough endoplasmic reticulum's job, so no protein synthesis. Okay, so you're probably bored of me saying what the smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't do because you came here to find out what it does do, right? But have a think about it for a moment. We won't have protein folding or processing as I've already said, and we won't have DNA replication because we know that happens in our nucleus. We won't have translation because we know that requires ribosomes. So what's left? Uh, we need to start thinking about the possible roles of all of these structures within our cells because our body is just one giant factory of cells. Your stomach doesn't make acid, cells do. Your muscles don't create movement, cells do it. Your heart doesn't contract, cells do. Now, let's get back to it and we're going to do something we haven't done yet and talk about the roles in each part of the body. So the first thing we're going to have our smooth endoplasmic reticulum involved in is lipid metabolism, so synthesis of lipids, and we'll see that in the liver cells. Next we'll have cholesterol synthesis, which means we're going to be able to synthesize hormones as well because we make steroids from cholesterol, and that means we're going to find smooth endoplasmic reticulum in any cells that are producing steroids, so uh, the testes in uh, men. And we're also going to be able to use those enzymes of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum to detoxify certain drugs, and we'll see that in the liver and the kidneys as well. 
And lastly, we're going to be able to break down glycogen into free glucose that we can use for energy, and we're going to see that uh, in the liver as well. So something we need to know is that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is fairly scant in uh, most cells, so we don't usually have very much of it unless we have a cell that has a specialized purpose. And a good example of a specialized purpose is going to be a cardiac or a skeletal muscle cell that has its own specialized uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and we refer to that as the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now, you may have heard of a sarcoplasmic reticulum before, and I'll draw up a little uh, picture here. So if we have this myofibril within a muscle cell, we're going to have this sarcoplasmic reticulum wrapping around it. And this sarcoplasmic reticulum is just a specialized smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And the role that the sarcoplasmic reticulum has within the muscle cells is to sequester and store calcium ions. So we'll write that down. And just while I'm writing that down, let's review what we know. We know that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is an extension of our rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's not involved in protein synthesis, but it's going to be involved in different activities in different parts of the body, like lipid metabolism and hormone synthesis, drug detoxification and glycogen breakdown, and even uh, ion storage in muscle cells. So it has many different jobs, and that's our smooth endoplasmic reticulum. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.